see again, so that we're deleting and there's, and there's controversy over what's substantive and what's not. The question's really not the open records law, it's the retention law. And that's where the, the legislature is exempt from retaining the law, uh, re retaining the records. Uh, would you support a change so that the legislature would come under the retention law like other agencies of state government are? I might. But, you know, you guys asked that to Governor Walker when he was in here, and he said, well, yeah. You ask it of Meyer every time he runs. He says, well, yeah. You ask it of every legislator you run into because it's an obsession of yours, and they all answer, well, yeah. Well, where the hell are the bills? Everybody's telling you, absolutely, we will change this law. Absolutely, we'll make it apply. Nobody's introducing the bill for you. So, I mean, will you introduce the bill? Yeah, I will introduce the bill. Sure, I would for purposes of discussion, and we'll find out how important this is to everybody in the state of Wisconsin. But don't you think it's important that there's transparency, Jim? I think there is. I See, I think there is transparency, and I keep everything, and you guys uh, obviously have it available to you. You've asked me, you do more open records requests than any media I'm familiar with. I always uh, comply. You get, you know, everything that I have. Well, remove, yeah. it between, re remove it between us and our dispute. Let's move it to the statewide situation. I mean, you're seeing this all over, Jim. It's rampant. I mean, it's, it, it just was in Roberta Darling's camp. It was in the governor's camp. It's, it's been with you. It's been in the open meetings. It's, uh, I mean, it's, can we come to some, can we in the state of Wisconsin, which was known for openness for years, it's like it's been flushed down the toilet. Can we get back to what it used to be? I think it is. I don't. I just don't see any other media except the Lakeland Times complaining about this. Well, I may, don't see it. That doesn't mean it isn't uh, uh, just and right. I understand. I understand. And open records. You you talk about good investigatory reporting, uh, but that, a lot of it is because of the documents, not because we talk to politicians and get the spin. So okay. open records yeah. is very important, and there's a loophole there. Because, yes, it's an open record as long as you keep it or any other well, law maker, understand. and you throw it away. That's a, that's a loophole. Well, why can't you guys get the statewide media understand this big emergency well, and have somebody you're, take you're action? Wrong. We're Jim, trying. Jim, you're wrong. You're wrong. The Freedom of Information Council it has been all over this. I mean, you have you, this. It's just it doesn't. The problem is, is the Democrats and the Republicans, they, they don't, they don't want to address it. And, yeah, we are going to try and hold the governor accountable. I, to I his pledged words. you to introduce legislation. Okay. And you know what? And you know what? If I'm in the majority after August 16th, it'll get a public hearing. If I'm in the minority, of course it won't. But uh, but you'll introduce the legislation. Sure. Good. Sure. I and, and just so all kinds of bills for everybody to get a public hearing and find out just how important this is, and find out where the people of the state are on this thing, and we'll see if it's all as important as you guys think it is. But but I would I would differ with you on your comments.